How you doing, everyone? Sean O'Kane here with Ship Estimate TV. We're coming to you from the TSMC OIP 2017 and at the Santa Clara Convention Center. Joining us today is Mr. Tom Hackett. Uh, he's the uh, Cadence Group Director for IP Campaign Marketing. Thank you very much for, for being here. Hi, Sean. Yeah, Thank yeah. You. So uh, TSMC is an indispensable partner for uh, in the SOC design mm -hmm. uh, ecosystem. In fact, Cadence has received eight, count them, <laughs> eight TSM, TSMC Partner of the Year awards in the last three years, and those are different categories, and four, you received four just last year in 2016. That's correct. That's correct. So you, there is a, a tight collaboration here, and this is what OIP is all about, Open Innovation Platform. Now, how is Cadence participating in this year's mm -hmm. Open Innovation Platform? Well, Sean, at this year's event, um, Cadence has five key announcements that we've made at this year's event. Uh, these are press releases covering uh, five different important topics. Mm -hmm. um, number one, we uh, put out a release announcing a complete automotive IP portfolio mm -hmm. for automotive SOC design. We have a uh, seven nanometer plus tool certification. We have uh, tool certification and uh, IP availability for the 12 FFC process. We have a packaging announcement. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, enhancements to our design and analysis flow for Info and COWAS. These are 3D packaging technologies. And uh, the fifth announcement was uh, a press release we put out with our partners, uh, Xilinx, ARM, and TSMC announcing a seven nanometer test chip mm -hmm. that implements the C6 standard. Yes. This is a new standard uh, that's going to enable the potential of AI and deep learning in the cloud data center. Well, for any other company, those amount of press releases would be good for about six months. But you got them all in. <laughs> just Somehow we got them all into the one yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But that's just a testimony. This yeah, is, yeah. event is very important to, to Cadence mm -hmm. and the ecosystem. And uh, TSMC is a great partner. And uh, it was a perfect venue to make these announcements. Yes. So what, what process knows are we talking about? Well, uh, the tools and IP covering, spanning from 7 to 12 to 16. Mm -hmm. And um, the... Uh, and, and all this information actually is uh, uh, a lot of info on our website. You can mm -hmm. go to the Cadence Newsroom mm -hmm. on our website and read out all about this. But uh, the thing I'd really like to drill down into is our announcement about our automotive IP portfolio. Okay, what's, what IP is in that yes. portfolio? Right, so uh, several things. So it is uh, LPDDR4 and 4X controllers and FIs uh, that support DRAM speed grades all the way up to 4266. And then we have controllers and FIs for PCI Express Ford Auto. And we have uh, controllers and FIs for a variety of uh, versions of USB, DisplayPort, MIPI, uh, UFS, um, Quad and Octal Spy, and uh, Gigabit Ethernet with time-sensitive networking. Well, I'm glad you mentioned that because I, I, I want to tell the audience that you can find uh, Cadence's IP catalog portfolio on cadence.com, but also on chipestimates.com and look and search and explore the latest up-to-date Silicon Proven IP available from Cadence. So there's there's two places where you can go. Absolutely. To, so with respect to design tools and flows in the, in the second half of 2016, mm -hmm. TSMC and Cadence worked collaboratively together to define a methodology for fault injection simulation. This is for functional safety, uh, uh, this campaign management. Uh, talk a little bit and elaborate a bit about that methodology and what ASO yes. means. <clears throat> well, to, to be able to claim an automotive IP portfolio as we're doing, a, a couple of things have to be there. And, um, and actually, uh, the first is the process. Mm -hmm. So uh, 16 FFC has shaped up to be like the go-to process for complex automotive SOC. So all this IP is available on 16 FFC. Mm -hmm. And then, but that alone is not enough because the automotive world has very high standards for reliability, functional safety. Yep. And that starts at the design. And so all of our IP is designed to be ASIL B ready mm -hmm. and ASIL CD capable. So ASIL stands for the uh, automotive safety integrity level. And they have four levels, A, B, C, D, that are increasingly stringent. 
Um, in addition to that, there's another standard, AEC Q100, uh, that defines temperature grades. And so all this IP has been optimized for temperature grade two, which is kind of a sweet spot in terms of power and area for, uh, for uh, cost-sensitive automotive applications. Yeah. So the process covered, right. we've got the safety aspects covered, and we have a complete portfolio. And, and with the uh, uh, automotive, uh, automotive, the infotainment system, the safety, and all that, Cadence is all wrapped into that. That's with right, but it's not just Cadence. Uh, if, we look yeah. at the, uh, if we look at the press release uh, for right. the automotive IP, uh, you'll see a quote from uh, our customer, Rene Sauce, oh, that's is right. in there. And, uh, and so, you know, not only Rene Sauce, but uh, there's several other leading uh, automotive uh, companies that we're involved with also. And we're really um, proud to have such good customers uh, to work with that we can, you know, develop a, a quality portfolio for the industry. Yeah, thank you for, for, for mentioning that. Uh, so you can, you can access uh, Cadence IP on, from cadence.com or chipestimate.com. So thanks so much for spending a little bit of time with us. For Tom Hackett, my name is Sean O'Kane. We'll see you next time on Chip Estimate TV.